Yo, what is going on guys? It's Lady Yo, welcome to So Serious Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you a few clips from a build I was using. Um, I decided to go with a Predator's Mark shotgun build instead of joining the typical sort of Alpha Bridge shotguns and Sentry Call shotguns. Like I wanted to do something a little bit different and I figured it would be fun too. That was the thing I wanted more than anything was for it to be fun and Predator's Mark is actually a lot of fun to use and I feel like a lot of people underestimate it because the bleed isn't just good for slowing people down it is genuinely good for killing people as well because you have to think the Predator's Mark when it pops the bleed like if you're reloading or they run around the corner and you've got that bleed to proc on them that's damage being dealt when you're not actually doing anything to them so it's really good for continuing damage where you've perhaps had to stop or you know they've got away from you and you can't keep dealing the damage so it's really good for that it's good for also as well you know if they they've used the heal and you've got them to low health and they're bleeding you're gonna force them to use a med kit which nobody likes using med kits you know because you always want them there you always you know you know you're gonna need them at some point so when you have to use them it's not so fun and as you'll see here, like when I pop the pulse, um, I get the bleed to proc for just under 140,000. Like that's nuts. And when I when I tweaked the build a little bit after I'd like done the highlights and stuff, and you know just just gone into the DZ and just to see what it was like and just to get a few little clips, um, I managed to uh, get it to proc for 145,000. I can't remember the exact number. But it was 145,000 something. So, I mean, I'm running, I think I've got two 240 Predators Mark, two 268s, and then I was, I was just literally running a, a random pair of gloves, and I think it was a Firecrest chest piece. So, I mean, this was nowhere near maxed out. Like, ideally, I would run this with like two Sentries Call for the extra headshot damage, because obviously, you're going to be wanting headshots, and the more damage you can deal in those 10 bullets the more damage they're gonna bleed for so that, that's like it's always a good thing to have anything that can buff your damage up or even you know just like buff your crit damage and things like that you know any anything that's gonna allow you to deal more damage is gonna make them bleed for more so you know try bear that in mind when you're making the build and don't concentrate on sheet DPS because as I hope most people know by now the sheet DPS does tend to lie. I mean, I've got an Alpha Bridge build, and I think it was like barely touching 200,000 DPS, but seriously, it was melty as hell. So don't pay too much attention on what your DPS is. Concentrate more on your base damage, your crit chance, your crit damage, and headshot damage. No matter what your DPS says, says, if those numbers are high, you are going to be melting people. And you know, no matter what DPS tries to tell you, so don't pay too much attention to your DPS numbers when you're using, especially when you're using builds like this where there is no buffs that will buff your DPS as such, because it can make it can make your build look weaker than it actually is so try not to pay too much attention to that but honestly this build is fun if you want to go into the DZ and have fun and even troll people this is good for that like the amount of people like when I was playing the game later on in the night with uh, some guys that I play with like the amount of people that were squirming and screaming and bitching because I propped bleed on them is unreal so you could even just use this to troll people I had I had one guy like he was running in a four man, and he was running uh, he was running sentries uh, sentries shotgun, and he was talking so much fucking shit. And like I tagged him with like half the pellets on the shotgun, and he was like, "Oh, this guy's shotgun is weak." And he dropped me, and then I come out and I hit him with one clean headshot, and then I hit him with a clean chest shot, and then he dropped me because of the sentry's call mark. And just before he got to punch me, he went down, and he fucking cried like a bitch. And unlucky for him, somebody came out of the checkpoint just behind me and downed him, and then they started reviving me. So yeah, it kind of sucked for him. 
But yeah, it is seriously fun. Like the it, just listening to people in game chat bitch about it is like it's just funny. So it's definitely a build I would recommend, and it's definitely a build I am going to be working on maxing out as much as possible. Not just for shotguns, but for assault rifles and SMGs and whatever else, because in general it is just fun. You know, like some of the clips in this I was using the MP7 and I literally just used them to show you how effective the bleed is. Because I didn't get any any clips with the shotgun propping bleed on people because I wasn't, you know, the, the, the couple of times that I did I wasn't recording but generally they, they just went down off the bullet damage but still like the bleed, the bleed off the shotguns is brutal, it is seriously brutal and I may try and get some footage and some highlights of, of that bleed effect going on because it is seriously freaking cool. Um, but that's about it guys, if you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up if you've got any recommendations on builds that you want to see or any challenges that you want me to do or anything like that, comment below. And if you're new to the channel, then please, please be sure to subscribe and come back for more content. And yeah, have a good day, guys, and I'll catch you in another video. Peace.